So sometimes when we've been setting up our videos, the lighting hasn't really been ideal. We've struggled to find other lights around the house to quickly rig up to nicely light something. So I wanted to get a, a video light. The big sort of high power ones look fairly expensive. You can get some quite small ones that uh, mount on top of your camera with loads of LEDs in for sort of 10 or 20 quid on the likes of AliExpress. But I want to give this a try. We've got a A3 LED light box. It's a letter light box. I think it's sometimes called a cinema sign. So I'll have a quick look at this in a sec. So let's have a look at the letter light box. So on the back it can run on batteries or USB. Um, it needs 2.1 amps apparently for USB. That seems like a lot. Um, so let's get it out and have a look. So it comes with a bag of accessories. A USB lead for power. Some of the uh, letters. I think you get three of each in the uh, A3 one. And some instructions. Oh, I mean these were just not worth printing. And the uh, light box itself. So it's not particularly bright with the uh, diffuser on, but removing the diffuser, just the LED strip in the box, that is, that's quite bright. And you can perhaps see down here, there's not actually any LEDs populated on these uh, connecting strips in between here. So they've, they've really tried to cheap out as much as possible with this. But never mind all of that, we're going to rip this out. I'm going to try and remove this uh, battery compartment so we can get a flat area here. And then we'll see how much 12 volt LED strip, cool and warm, we can fit in this. And then we'll have two dimmers, one for the cool and one for the warm, so you can adjust the uh, colour temperature as well. So these are the two rolls of LED strip I've got. This is the uh, cool white, and this is the warm white. So I think we'll do alternating strips of each, and then you can uh, dial in the color temperature using the two dimmers. So this uh, LED strip's pretty perfect, and there's only certain positions you can cut these at, and it's, it's every three LEDs. And uh, this one can be cut right here. So that is going to be the perfect length to go in there, so we'll uh, get cutting and stick some in. Okay, so that's all of the LED strip installed. That was about perfect, actually. I think the easiest way of powering this is going to be perhaps not putting the terminals right at the ends, but running them along three intervals like that. So I have the ground down one end, warm, and then the cool, something like that. So um, I'm going to start putting some wiring and getting started. <laughs> So we've got all of the grounds connected together down a uh, piece of copper here, it's soldered onto each one. And then all of the uh, cool strips, oh no sorry, the warm strips soldered onto this one. And then all of the cool strips soldered onto this one. I've just both got them connected to the bench supply, so let's give this a try. Very nice. It's quite bright really. So uh, we'll hook it up to the power supply cables. So it can still use the same input jack and switch, and then we'll mount both the uh, dimmers on the back. So we may have made a little bit of a mistake with this. These uh, dimmers, so the input's green and the output is, sorry, the input is blue and the output's red, um, and negative is closest to me. 
So I would have imagined that the negatives would be common together. And we've common the negatives together in the uh, light box. But unfortunately that is not the case. And it's actually the positives common together. So uh, this dimmer that I've got as well is slightly different. But once again it is the positives that are common. So what we're going to have to do is remove half of the links from the uh, negative bar and add another negative bar. So we'll have uh, separate negative bars for the warm and cool. And then we can just connect our two positive bars together again. So this is what I've done linking them together. So we'll just have to take out uh, every other bar in here and then probably put another one on uh, down the other side. So we've got separate ones for the cool and warm. Okay, so we've got two sets of links in now for each colour and uh, two dimmers up with the knobs just poking through onto the back which is quite neat so now I just want to install a tripod mount onto the bottom so I've plonked a hole through and I think I'm just going to use some uh, epoxy and peel off this rubber first to secure it on there so I've got the tripod mount on the bottom and I've just fixed a 6 amp 12 volt power supply onto the back with some more epoxy a mains lead going in 12 volts out to a DC jack so let's give it a try shall we So that's the cool, and that's the warm, and then I'll put them both on together, and that's about white. So let's give this a quick try. This is um, fixed exposure without the light switched on, and I'll just pop it on to about 75% brightness. And this is the difference. You can see the shots a bit more evenly lit, and I'm a, I'm a little bit more highlighted. The uh, Light's quite diffused. So another time this would be useful is if you're in quite a poorly lit room with a lot of backlighting, you can just pop the other light on and use it as a fill light. That looks quite a lot better. You can adjust the colour temperature from something quite warm, which makes everything look quite natural, to really cool, really bright, to quite dim. So the total cost to build this was about £20 for the light box. If you fancied making something, it could be a lot less. And the LED strip and the dimmers was about £10. So if you like this video guys, please leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.